Hi, my name is David Naranjo with Aegis Electronic Group. Today we're demonstrating how to connect the SD HDMI board to the FCB HD cameras. Uh, the SDI HDMI board offers two HD STI connections. You can have dual HD STI coming out. Uh, it's using a MCX type of connector on the interface board. Additionally, there is an HDMI output on the rear part of the board and also HD component that comes out of the JST type connections of the board. This board works with several of the Sony FCB HD cameras so depending on which camera you have you will have to order the correct interface kit. We have a kit for the FC, FCB H11 which is the SDI HDMI H11 GM kit and we have an SDI HDMI EH GM kit which works for the FCB EH HD camera series. I will start by demonstrating the FCB H11 with the correct cable kit and I will show you how to make those connections. So here we have the FCB H11 interface kit. The kit comes with the 10 micro pin coax cable and three JST type connectors. I've already connected the 10 pin micro coax cable to the interface board. However, I did want to point out that the cable is very delicate, so you'll want to be very careful when you handle this cable. There's gold contacts on one part of the connector and none on the other. When you connect this to your interface board you want to make sure that your contacts go in gold contacts facing up. You will do the same thing on the camera side. As you can see I've already done it on the interface board side now I'll do it to the camera side. Again, I want the contacts to be facing up and you simply push the connector in there and it should slide right in. And with the FCB H11, it should include the 24 pin flat flex cable. As you can see, I've already connected it on the camera. Um, there is a blue side on one side and uh, the contacts on the other. You will want to make sure that the contacts go down and the blue portion of the cable is facing up. Again, I've already done it on the camera side. I will now do it on the interface board side. And the 24 pin flat flex connection is located on the rear part of the interface board. So I'll be flipping that up around. There is a little latch here on this Molex connector that you will want to bring up, then insert the IFC cable, and then close the latch down to secure the flat flex cable. So once you have your micro coax cable connected to the interface board and your 24 pin flat flex cable, uh, you want to move on to your uh, JST type cables. Um, as you can see, we have J1, which is a 10 pin connector, and it is for power, RS-232, and or TTL control. So this is a, a very important connector. Um, there is a arrow here pointing on the spec sheet, which identifies where pin 1 is of the board. Additionally, if you're using the FCB H11, there's a uh, different JST type connector over here which gives you your HD component and or your standard definition video. And uh, in the spec sheet, the spec sheet should tell you what the pins are of every different connector of the board. As you can see here, we were looking at the 10 pin J1 connector and you'll see that there's power, there's ground, there's RS-232 uh, controls on that particular connector. 
I have already connected the JST J1 connector on the interface board and this is where I would then now solder my power and ground leads to and my RS-232 so that I can control the camera. Once I power up the board then I can either choose to go with my HD-SDI using the MCX connectors and or the HDMI on the rear part of the board. Uh, one thing that's really important that I did want to point out is because this board can be used with a lot of different cameras um, there is some jumpers that are on the board and depending on which configuration you're using as you can see here on the spec uh, if you are going with the FCB EH series then you want to leave jumpers 3 and 4 open if you are going with the H11 then you want these jumpers to be closed uh, the jumpers are located on the board and I will point them out for you and they are right here and you have these top jumpers which are for uh, RS-232 or TTL and again uh, you can take a look at the spec and the spec will identify 1 and 2 open is RS-232 and 1 and 2 closed is TTL. So there's a, a lot of flexibility in the SDI HDMI boards and if for any reason you have any questions feel free to give us a call at Aegis Electronic Group. Our number is 800-362-3447. Thank you very much. So here you have the interface board with the EH kit. In the EH kit you should get a micro coax cable 30 pin uh, which is a little different than the FCB H11 cable that we seen in the last demonstration video. Um, you should also have your JST type cables and um, this is also a very very delicate cable and you'll want to be very careful with it. Um, as we showed you in the last video, um, there is a side that has gold contacts on one side, which are here, and there is no contacts on the other side. You will also want to fit the contacts with the gold side going up when you connect it to the interface board or on the camera. I've already attached the interface board side. I will now attach the camera side. You'll simply want to push the cable in and it should slide right in. Again, you want to be very careful with it and uh, otherwise if you bend it too hard or you uh, take it out, insert it, take it out again, you do it too many times it could break the cable. The cable is very expensive in the event that you do damage one of the cables give us a call and uh, we'll be more than happy to uh, quote you on another one. Um, additionally you have the JST type cables and again you will be using J1 and refer to the spec sheet which will show you the different pinout on J1 uh, for RS-232 and power. If all you are doing with the EH cameras is pulling out HDSDI and or HDMI um, and wanting to control RS-232 and power the camera up then the only other cable that you'll need in this configuration would be your 10 pin JST type cable. And again, your, your 10 pin is for your power and controls. You would then solder on your power connector on the correct pins and also your RS-232 for controlling the camera.